YouTube, it's Zoe, and I am participating in Readathon by Zoe Holiday Edition, which is round four of my 24 hour readathon. I can't believe I am doing this for a fourth time. It's probably not good for my body because I don't sleep for 24 hours or more than 24 hours because I didn't sleep last night. It is 11.35 right now and I have not slept today. It is good for my Goodreads reading challenge. So that's why I do it. Also, it's fun. You get to read for 24 hours, a whole day dedicated to reading. Yeah. As I mentioned before, I decided to make it holiday slash winter themed this time, which basically just means I'm going to read just holiday slash winter themed books or books that take place during winter. And I am planning on maybe doing some holiday type things today. We shall see. Anyway, it is now 1139. So I am going to go make some coffee because like I said before, I did not sleep and I'm already tired. Probably being in pajamas right now is not helping with the being tired front. And we have to pick the first book I'm going to read. I made my famous hazelnut hot chocolate coffee, which a lot of people were asking how I make it. It's really simple. So you get a packet of hot chocolate, you put in some marshmallows, and then you put hazelnut coffee on top of it. Probably not good for you, but it's tasty. So now we are going to pick what I'm going to read first. We have to choose relatively quickly. I have my TBR stack here, ready to go though. These are all of the books that I own that I know are wintry or holiday-y, except for this one, but I just really want to read it so I added it. This is an unrealistic number of books to read in 24 hours. So my genius plan was I put all of the names of these books onto slips of paper and I put them into this Santa hat here. So whenever I need a new book, I'm just going to reach in and pick a new book. Genius. No one's ever come up with this idea before. I am an innovator. So we have the Santa hat. Let's pick my first book to read during the readathon. Oh snap, what is this book? It is Let It Snow by various authors. I forget, I think John Green is one of them. Let It Snow by John Green. Oh, <laughs> I just missed the chair. <laughs> it is by John Green. Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. As you can tell, there are three different authors, so there are three different stories within this story. Each author writes their own story. So what I am planning on, read the first story from this, then read another book, and then read the second story from this, then read another book, and then read the last story from this. Does that make sense? It's not a very complicated plan, but it is 11.57, oh my gosh, three minutes until the readathon starts. I am ready. I am feeling the adrenaline running through my veins. I am high on reading and on life and on caffeine. <laughs> Let's do this thing. It's now midnight, so let's read. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Also, yes, this kind of looks like Canada. Kind of looks like Canada socks, but no, these are Christmas trees, in case you're wondering. Anyway, let's read. Let's get down to business. story so far. It's by Maureen Johnson and it's called The Jubilee Express. I didn't realize that this book came out in 2008 for some reason. I thought it came out in 2012, but they're talking about iPods and how the main character's phone has minutes and she hasn't used all of her minutes yet. What a throwback. It's 114 pages long. I can finish it in the next hour or so if I stop talking to the camera and start reading. Yeah, you're right. I should start reading again. <laughs> Bye. It is 1.30 a.m. and I just finished the first story in Let It Snow. It was much funnier than I was expecting and also it was incredibly cheesy, which I was expecting. This takes place over less than 24 hours and two people just fall in love and I was... 
I was along for the ride. So like I said before, my plan was to read the first story and then pick another book to read before I start the second story. So let's go pick out the next book I'm going to read. All right, Santa hat. Let's see what we're going to read next. What is this one? I don't know. Let's see what we're going to read. Da, 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 da. I need a theme song or something. I don't know. Oh, I don't know if you can read it. Death by Eggnog. Yes, that is a real book. I don't know if you could read the tagline, but it's beginning to look a lot like murder. I've been getting really into cozy mysteries, which is a genre of mystery books that aren't really gruesome or gory. They're filled with puns and they're just incredibly cheesy. So that's what this is. It looks really cheesy and I am really excited to get into it. It looks so bad. It'll be good. Before we start this masterpiece though, I'm going to make some more coffee because I am getting a little bit sleepy. All right, so it's like 2 a.m. and as you can probably tell, I have decided to take a bath. Since taking baths keeps me awake, I'm going to try to read as much of Death by Eggnog as I can. I also have my bath snacks. If you can see, I have some goldfish, I have some coffee, and I also have some water. I have water because I'm trying to be healthy, I'm trying to balance my caffeine with water because people have left comments saying that my amount of caffeine consumption is dangerous. So I'm trying to make us all feel better. All right, I'm gonna go and read. Christmas is books. It is now 5 30 a.m. and my coffee is now cool enough to drink. That random 5 a.m. dance break really did wake me up. I finished Death by Eggnog by Alex Erickson and it wasn't great. Um, it wasn't absolutely terrible though. I didn't realize that it was the fifth book in a series so I was a little bit confused. It did what I wanted it to do. It entertained me. Anyway, I'm going to start John Green's story now, which is called A Cheertastic Christmas Miracle. So I'm guessing it's going to be cheery. I just finished John Green's story in Let It Snow and I didn't really enjoy it. There were some problematic parts of the story and also just the story in general. I far preferred the first story by Maureen Johnson actually, which I was surprised about because I have read a Maureen Johnson book before a couple of years ago and I didn't like it. But we shall see what I think about the last story in this book when I get to it. We actually have to pick a new book now. Which one are we gonna read? Moonstone. Which one is that? Okay, yes, I know which one it is. Moonstone, The Boy Who Never Was, a novel by S-J-O-N. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he is an Icelandic author. I asked the other day on Twitter for some diverse book recommendations to read during the readathon, and Josh from Scribbles Reads actually recommended this book to me, so I got it. It's also pretty darn short. How many pages is it? Oh, I don't want to be spoiled. It is 142 pages long, so yeah. I think I can finish this today. It takes place in 1918 in Reykjavik, Iceland. The main character is gay, I believe, and the Spanish influenza is ravaging the country. I'm getting tired, so hopefully this will keep my attention and keep me awake because I have to be awake for 15 more hours. That's what I call multitasking. <laughs> it is now 8 a.m. Obviously, my dad is now awake. 
<laughs> and he's driving, so this is really safe. Um, we're going <laughs> to breakfast right now, and I am still reading this book. This is obviously a translated work, so it's a little bit awkward to read. Also, earlier, I bit the inside of my cheek and every time I talk I'm just biting it more so I'm sorry if I'm lisping or slurring it's just I'm trying not to bite my cheek anymore but we're going to breakfast we're gonna eat it's still raining outside we have a cold front coming in so that's why I can wear a sweater right now well we match well, not on purpose. <laughs> Are you sure? I, I got dressed first, didn't I? I didn't even Did see you. Did you I didn't match me you. on purpose? <laughs> I got a veggie scramble. It looks pretty good. And I'm still reading Moonstone. What are you currently reading? Are you joining Readathon by Zoe? I am, and I always do. <laughs> I force you to. Mwaha. No, just oh, kidding. No, you don't. He, he volunteered to join. <laughs> I always do the Insanity series by Cameron Jace. And I'm reading, I'm still in the first book. It's a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, right? It's a retelling of Alice in, in Wonderland in modern times. She's 19 years old. Are you liking it so far? It's, um, it's different. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm being attacked by dogs. Hello. How are you kind sir? Oh gosh. We are back from breakfast. I am 90 pages into Moonstone. I am liking this more. The beginning was a little strange, especially because it starts with an explicit sex scene, which I was not expecting, and I was reading that in a public restaurant while eating breakfast and it was weird but i am liking it more i got used to the translated language and now i really like the way that he writes so i'm gonna finish this up right now i just finished moonstone and to be honest i'm not sure how i feel about the book i feel like it's one that will stick with me for a while because it's unlike any story i've read before and i feel like i learned a lot about the icelandic culture but i'm not sure if I liked how it was written. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Anyway, I am going to finish Let It Snow. I have the final story to read by Lauren Miracle, which is called The Patron Saint of Pigs. I don't know what this one's gonna be about. How's your book going? I'm on chapter 48, and that sounds like a lot, except that's still only 22% through the book. Are you liking it more? Uh, but this way, I'm going to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> I have 80 more pages of Let It Snow. As you can tell, my dad made some soup, so I'm probably going to eat some of that. I'm also going to drink some water because I've had a lot of caffeine today, but not a lot of water. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. You want to read a book about Santa getting murdered? Read The Hogfather. Santa dies, and then death has to take over. It's a great book. I love it. My sister, everybody. Yeah, she has decided to join the readathon very last minute, and <laughs> He's going to read The Hog Father. He writes the Discworld books. This is one of those. It, it's a great series. It's a great fantasy novel. They do a lot of, not quite satire, but like looks at real world concepts through the lens of fantasy. This is not one of those books, but it's still a great book. Do you mean Santa isn't a real world issue? I don't know. Do you have an issue with Santa? <laughs> I do! Hey Trixie, how you doing girlfriend? You look so done. I'm so sorry, I'll leave you alone. Anyway, I finished Let It Snow. I really liked the last story, definitely more than John Green's, 
oops someone got a notification but john green's the second story was my least favorite it just didn't have a lot of substance to it i guess but the last story had a really satisfying conclusion it was kind of like love actually that all of the stories came together there definitely were some problematic aspects to this book all of the stories had problematic aspects and they really hated on cheerleaders for some reason every single story was like cheerleaders are so dumb and perky and what what is with the hate on cheerleaders i don't get it but if you're looking for some holiday cheer here you go we have to go pick the next story now that we're done with this we gotta pick the next novel out of the santa hat ooh, ooh, ooh. i need a theme song for the santa hat santa hat santa hat let's pull a book out of that Hey! Is that my new theme song? It's terrible, but it'll have to do. This one! What is this one? Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't open it. Oh! The book thief! I have been meaning to read it for years. E even before I started on booktube, I was meaning to read it, and I just haven't for five years. So, this is the perfect time to actually read it. As you can tell, my caffeine has kicked in again. I, I've, I've been going through waves of tiredness, but we're ready. Let's read the book, Thief. Now, this one is a little bit thicker, or a lot a bit thicker than the other novels. It's over 550 pages with small font, but it is just 1 p.m. So, I think I can do it. I read it in one day, so I think I can read this in... 11 hours. Oh, also, I forgot that I have the audiobook. I have it on Audible. I purchased it years ago. So I am much more prepared to read this book than I thought. I have 11 hours. I have the audiobook. I have the physical book. And I have the motivation to read this. I'm really excited. This is a lot of people's favorite book. Oh, we're going to go decorate the Christmas tree, and I'm going to listen to the audiobook. Christmas, Christmas tree team assemble! Let's decorate this tree! two things one the cold front finally moved in so it's nice and cool outside and two guess who this is it's my bff she is a stray cat who has kind of adopted us but we can't let her inside because my dear old dad is allergic to cats how dare you be allergic to cats dad he's putting up the christmas lights right there yeah go dad you can do it best friends oh Oh my gosh! Do you love me as much as the cat does? <laughs> oh, oh! Hey friends! <laughs> okay, abort mission! I forgot that we are going to make gingerbread today! I was thinking that we would decorate them like book characters. Huh? Huh? Does that sound super cool and rad? Nerd! Baking with Zoe! Whoa! You want to know my super secret recipe? For gingerbread well you put the mix into the bowl we need to contact Mary Berry ASAP and find me a slot for the Great British Bake Off because obviously I am just the best baker around I really do like baking it's just I was lazy and I got the cookie mix sometimes we do make it from scratch but not during Readathon by Zoe. We need to dedicate all our hours to reading. It looks good. Yay! Yay! We already have 
our test batch here. Some of them will look a little worse for wear, but they'll taste good. And that's all that matters. We don't judge about how you look around here. We have a gingerbread person with pants and a gingerbread person with a dress. Christmas tree. Or, or just, just like a tree. A pine tree. <laughs> just a tree. Happy to be here. It is 3.20 p.m. The first batch of gingerbread is in the oven. I don't know if you can see, but it's right there. And I am on page 75 of The Book Thief. I am really liking it so far. I love the writing style. It's so unique and it flows so well and it's so visual. It's such a visual writing style. I love also how it's narrated by death and... <gasps> Oh, and how there are some German phrases thrown in since it is set in Germany. So I feel like I'm learning some German while also reading this book. I cannot believe that it has taken me, what is it, five years or something to finally read this book. The first batch of gingerbread came out and it is one giant slab. They have all merged into one. They're just best friends. Just wanna hang out all the time. It is 4.30 and we're having a family reading party. Hey, friends. Hi. You're interrupting Hi. my reading. There's your timer. Do I treat you like this? Ooh, we have to get yes, the gingerbread. <laughs> I know. We have to get the gingerbread out of the oven. I am on page 125 of The Book Thief. How far are you in your book, Dad? Uh, 22%. Weren't you on 22%? during breakfast? I think this is all three books. Oh, uh, how far are you, Kit? Page 181. Are you liking About it? Wait, 90. you've read it before, right? Yeah, I've read it plenty of times and I've seen the movie adaptation. Which we also have. Yep. Oh, maybe we should watch that. But yeah. not today, because we're reading all day! Woo! I will give you one guess as to where we are going. Live studio audience, where are we going right now? Barnes and Noble. Oh my goodness, I have never been there before. No, <laughs> it is a tradition. It is a readathon tradition at this point. We just have to go and check out what holiday books they have. I don't know. We're just going because we gotta go. Do dead people wash me shower? I don't. No! Is that such a popular question though that they had to title the book that? Like you've never wondered. <laughs> I never did until now. You are at a bookstore and you're stocking up on Legos. I really want to get Eloise because we used to watch that movie when I was a king. Oh yeah. I don't know where it would be. I found it! This used to be one of my favorite books and it's Christmas themed so I'm going to read it today and this counts for a whole book being read today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really getting around my own rules. The Barnes and Noble yeah, trip was a success. We got too many things. It is 8 p.m. and I am on page 230 something of The Book Thief. I didn't realize that there were illustrations in this as well. This book just keeps on getting better and better. Have you read it, Dad? Oh my gosh. I'm going to lend this to you right after I finish it because it's really good. We just finished decorating all of the gingerbread. Oh, it please don't show the mess. Oh, oh, you <laughs> want to see the mess that we made while decorating the gingerbread? We kind of gave up at the end because there were so many and it took so long, but these are my gingerbread. Yes, they decorated all of those in the time it took me to decorate these. But as you can see, I did the Hogwarts house scars. And this was my attempt at doing a person. I tried to do Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice, but um, it, it looks um, a little scary. 
So we're gonna eat that one first to get rid of the evidence. You're not proud of it? I'm not proud of it. Are you prejudiced? I am. <laughs> I really do like the scarves though. Those came out. They did. They, those came out pretty well. They took a long time for just being stripes because I'm a perfectionist, so I was doing it all with toothpicks. I was doing like a stroke at a time. These were the testers. <laughs> this one is terrifying. So we have less than four hours left in the readathon. I have half the book to read, but I kind of don't want to just fly through it because I'm liking it so much. I don't want to finish it tonight, but also I do because I need to know what happens. I don't know. You finish. Okay. <laughs> It is 9.15 p.m. and I am on page 325 of the Book Thief. So I have less than three hours to read 225 pages. I think I can do it. I just finished The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak and this book is so good. I was crying throughout the last 50, 100 pages. I was crying throughout the last 100 pages of this book. The worst part is that you know a lot of it is coming up and you cannot stop it. You feel helpless and the writing is so good and I love all the characters, well most of the characters, and it made me feel a lot of things that I wasn't planning on feeling. If you have not read The Book Thief, read The Book Thief. It is 11.40 so I still have 20 minutes left of Readathon by Zoe and I finished the book so I could just end it right here but I don't really want to go to bed in this state because I will just sob myself to sleep because I'm still super emotional. So I think I'm going to read Eloise. It's a really short book. I can read it in 20 minutes. It's lighthearted and that's that's what I need right now. Oh, that was the end of Eloise at Christmas time. It's so cute. I also love the art style. I still love the art style. It's so pink. My favorite bit was this. It shows where Eloise goes in the hotel. I am really happy that this was the last book I read during the readathon, not only because it is short, so it made me feel very successful, like this was a very successful readathon because I read this in five minutes, but because it's so Christmassy and it is so nostalgic. It is now past midnight. I finally washed off all of my makeup and all of my tears. Also, my hair totally looks like a founding father's right now. That was not the style I was going for, but I mean, rock what you got. Anyway, Readathon by Zoe is officially over. I am going to go sleep because I desperately need it. Massive amounts of caffeine can only go so far. Good night. Hello, it is a week later because I forgot to film this little wrap up bit, but since we last spoke, I completed all of my university finals for the semester. I am free for the next three weeks on winter break and it feels so good. Also, I am wearing my Santa Claus shirt to get even more into the holiday spirit. Anyway, let's talk about what I read during the 24 hour readathon. The first book I read was Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, and it was 352 pages. I then read Death by Eggnog by Alex Erickson, which was 285 pages. The third book I read was Moonstone, The Boy Who Never Was by S-J-O-N, I still don't know how to pronounce his name, but it was 142 pages. Then I read The Book Thief 
by Marcus Suzak, which was 550 pages long. <laughs> and last but not least, I read Eloise at Christmas Time by Kay Thompson, which Goodreads says is 56 pages long. I am pretty proud of reading that many pages and this many books in 24 hours, especially because I was planning on this being a more relaxed readathon. I was planning on hanging out with my family most of the day and just reading when I could but obviously that's not what occurred. I read the entire day. If you want to know, my favorite book was obviously The Book Thief, and my least favorite book was Death by Eggnog. Unfortunately, it wasn't as ridiculous as I was hoping it would be. Thank you for watching this ridiculously long readathon vlog. I had over four hours of footage, so this was as short as I could make it. Like always, I had so much fun doing this, and thank you to all of you who joined me in this crazy challenge. Leave down below if you joined, how many pages you read, and what your favorite book you read was. I would love to know. I will talk to you all soon in my next video. Bye!